Police have arrested three Thai suspects and a Nigerian in Bangkok and Nontaburi, all charged with drug trafficking, at the same time seizing over 11 million bahts worth of assets. The weekend operations saw the raids develop after a minion was nabbed with just 10 pills that he was trying to sell. He quickly squealed on his supplier, who was caught in a sting, and subsequent raids netted marijuana, ecstasy, 43 bottles of ketamine and crystal meth. A British so-called labour rights activist has been ordered by a court yesterday to pay 10 million baht in damages to a fruit canning company he reported as breaching labour regulations. This was the third of similar cases. Andy Hall was found not guilty in others. Now no longer in Thailand, he faces a further final case later this year. Four Malaysians were nabbed in the capital and Chiang Mai, scamming bank accounts via ATM machines out of 2 million baht. It seems that they gleaned bank details while in Malaysia, then came here to Thailand to steal from their victims via the machines. A new deal on cooperation between Cambodia and Thailand will see those fleeing from one to the other to escape justice return to the country seeking them. Meetings between Thailand's Prime Minister and Cambodian officials appear to have sealed the deal. Once the deal is implemented, it will assist in cases similar to that of British man Tony Kenway, who was gunned down here last year and his British killers fled across the border to safety. Thailand's polo associations have made it clear that they were in no way involved in the cruelty lashed out at animals by handlers prior to an elephant polo competition in Bangkok. With several sponsors dropping out of future events after footage revealed vicious treatment of the animals prior to their appearing in the games, it's been made clear by the organisers that these were isolated incidents and do not warrant cancellation of events. Meanwhile at home and in Pattaya, swimming while drunk is a no-no in the city. Doing so at four in the morning is even dafter. But tagging along with a local Thai lady, well, that just saved one tourist's life. The quick-thinking local lass in his company for the evening noticed that her consort was drowning, dragged him out and gave him the kiss of life. Onlookers watched as the woman gave him CPR, reviving him before police arrived. Writing to a senior director of our internet supply company, complaining about constant cuts in service, may have bypassed the local office, who were bored with our complaints, but it sure seems to have resulted in success. Two engineers arrived in the fabulous studios yesterday, checking every inch of their fibre cables and promising to come back again today to replace even more. For over a year, we've reported to you that we've endured cuts and loss of streaming. We hope that from today, you'll be able to enjoy our streaming of TV and radio without interruption. And with the Met Office promising highs today of around 32, dropping down to 25 tonight, and a good chance of storms throughout the day. That is the local and national news from Fabulous 103 FM. Keeping you in touch with Thailand and, of course, Pattaya, the city of fun.